We want to talk a little bit about the state house races. There are a lot of people waking up this morning yes. and saying, what the heck's going on? They're asking yeah. us what's going to happen <laughs> in Concord, who has the majority? And the, the answer is right now, it's very close and we don't know. Yeah, we shook up the snow globe and we're still <laughs> waiting for things to fall to yeah. be able to get a clear sense of what's going on. It does seemingly look like Republicans will still be largely in control right. of all of the bodies at the state house, but it's not a guarantee. Right now, it looks like Democrats have gained ground in the New Hampshire House to make that one too close to call for who gets 200 seats and, and captures the majority, or 201. Mm -hmm. In the Executive Council, Adam, it still looks like Republicans will hold the majority, but it's possible that they lose from 4-1 to one to maybe 3-2. And then the State Senate right now is at the very least the same. 24 seats, 14 Republicans, 10 Dems coming into the election. 10 Dems have already declared victory, and we have a couple races we're still watching, so we simply don't know. And one of the backstories here here that's important to note is the redistricting process that happened to the state house. The Republicans redrew the map. They drew a very safe state Senate map for themselves. We're seeing that uh, in effect uh, in, you know, with a lot of Democratic votes coming in. It looks yeah. like this could still be a 14 to 10 Senate. 2022 is the uh, the election where conventional wisdom went to die. Between <laughs> that and the expected red wave, which hit a solid blue wall, a lot of expectations were turned on their head in New Hampshire overnight. Right. And so we'll be keeping an eye on what's going on up in Concord to see who wins. It's not clear if we're going to have any recounts or anything like that. Yet, but hopefully throughout the day, we'll see things settle out and figure out what's going to go on up there under the Golden Dome for the next two years.